Episode of the Magic Sponge. I'm Rob Beckett, and I've got Ian Smee, Ian Smee, <laughs> Ian, Ian Smee. Smith with me. Fucking hell. And no Jimmy Bullard again. That's your name, isn't it? What? I'm trying to think of your name because I've seen him telling that. Rob Beckett. Yeah, and I was trying to bring you on. The... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to Google you, and I kept getting the other name, the other geezer's name, as Ooh. good as you, went on a trip with his mum. She was funny. Rob Meshrangadathan. No. <laughs> Russell Howard. Russell Howard. Oh, That's right. what I thought you yeah. were. It ain't you, is no, it? it ain't I wouldn't have come. Oh, you wouldn't have come. I'm never going to Russell Howard. <laughs> 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 he wants to get on your show. Oh, Russell, Russell Howard. Howard. Oh, oh, okay. I think because he's He wants to right. sit on the papers. <laughs> you, like Russell, right. you like Russell Howard's mum. So your mum I want to do then. It's his no, mum. No, it ain't my mum. You might do if you saw her, but that's... I feel moment. much more relaxed now. <laughs> oh, good, that's fine. Because I'm as your mama fancy. No, no, it's you. fine. Um, that voice right. you is, is uh, Neil Razor Ruddard. <laughs> and this is your second time on the podcast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's, but it's, the first time it was uh, in a pub at Christmas and it was an absolute right now. That's why I, I didn't really want to come today even because I thought it was going to be the same. No, it's not. It's a bit more relaxed, yeah, chatty right. affair. This is what's not... normal. But Lard's not here. We've got Paul Merson again. Oh, he's back. The magic. The magic. Magic Merson. Magic cool man, is it? He's back. Filling in for Bullard. Wow. Because Bullard's fishing. Because he's on Sucre oh, now yeah. and he's all gone showbiz. He's, he's gone... fishing. It's too cold fishing. He's got out. I don't know what he's up to, oh. but he's like... Yeah, so, so I went to see him the other day. You went and saw Jimmy the other day? No. What's Who? his face? Make... What's he called? Who? Mickey Flanagan. Yeah. It... And I was so excited the night, the night before that I stayed in, in. See what I've done, man? Lovely. Great stuff. I'll speak to Can I shut up? I think we're done. I think the, the episode's <laughs> can't get better than that, can it? Um, can get better oh, than and that. also, can I just say one more thing? Go on, tell us this. My wife don't say anything funny or anything normal, right? <laughs> Like no, 12 years. Yeah. And she well, said, she said well, I do to you, which yeah, is quite no, funny. Like, well, that ain't gone, was it? <laughs> and she said, why don't we make T-shirts and we should sell them outside? Mickey, eat my flan again. Oh. Why do we... oh well, no, don't print that because I'm going to do it next time. Don't let we, him... don't, We're not printing it. It's, on, it's his audio. All oh, right, don't, all, the, don't say don't that. Don't audio it. Because someone will nick it. Oh, don't, Mickey, eat my, my flan, flan again. again. Like flange. Flange. Again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sold outside. It's, it's, I like it. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I thought we could do that, but his tour's ended. Oh, maybe his next tour. I think yeah, but he'll someone's going to nick it now. I do think he'll work yeah. again. Yeah, I think he, he's sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll work again. Someone's going to nick it, you know. Bring up Mickey. Fruit of the Loom, get some plain mm. ones, get it printed. How can I do that without people doing it then? Can How I can you do that without people? Right? Yeah, it needs to get um, it. I, don't th- I think you could sell that. Like yeah, that. But, but people are going to off me now. It'll be fly pitch. They might nick it. I don't think... It, I don't uh, think. Neil, so. this is not fucking Dragon's Den, mate. <laughs> oh, know. was this it? Sorry, I'm just... Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Any other business oh, yeah. ideas? No. <laughs> Floating soap. <laughs> <laughs> Floating no one has baths anymore. Floating soap. No one has baths anymore. No. Yeah, hang on a second. You're not going to be a good idea. Before I forget... Remember, mate, remember, mate, remember, brother in France on the piss one day went out there and next to us in this bar there was this push chair and it was rocking. I thought, fuck me, that's a good idea. Look at that little baby. Oh, so, in that, it, you... so the baby was asleep. Oh, it was yeah. rocking. I thought, good, me and my brother think, we could do that. We'll turn it on. But when I looked under the table, it was a bird that had her foot on the on the <laughs> wheel. <laughs> <laughs> she was just brushing with her foot. But you could make an automatic rocker. What I'm talking about. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you, anyway, you like your sleep, didn't you? you, like, you like I it? love sleep. You saw him asleep the other week, didn't you? No, not the other week. It was a while back at the NEC. <laughs> I pulled up beside him. We were doing this thing at the NEC. And I thought... Oh my god, there's a tramp in a car. And it, was, <laughs> it was Neil. <laughs> he had shorts on, t shirt, a little suit and booty. Are you ready? What was you doing up there? Uh, what was it? I'm doing something for the, uh, I think, oh, car. I forget what it was now. Work. Well, you do, you do a lot of... Well, so what are you up to at the moment? You do the, after, We're on the after, we do up to dinner in Mercer's, obviously. After dinner famous, circuit. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm sort of number one, he's number two. You're the, the, big, you're the, you're the top I'm the governor. guy. You're the governor yeah. of it. Would you say that, Paul, with that? And he's number two, oh. close number two. But he's got another job, so let me be. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't do as many. Neil does. No, so I'm Neil's the best, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There you go. He does. How many do you do, do you say? Two a weekish. Two a week. It's yeah, good that's money as well, money, isn't it? Yeah. Oh shit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, in the game. I don't think there's any tax men listening no, to this. No, show. no, ex-wife. Oh, ex-wife, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, it's quite badly paid now, isn't it, though? Well, so that's why I have to do two a week. Yeah, it's only 10, 15 quid a Som- go, Sometimes oh. you'll do them for free as well, sometimes, just out of goodness of your heart. Fucking hell, you're good. Yes, I didn't <laughs> think of that one. Yeah, just because if there's a club struggling, just to bring morale up Brass in the Grassroots football. Grassroots? <laughs> Grassroots. Oh, <okay. laughs> Freudian slip there from Neil. <laughs> Neil's just got another ex-wife. <laughs> 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 
Um, right, um, you squad, let's start off with you. You started off at Millwall. Yes. How was that? Very tough. Um, yeah. Started up about 12, I think. So it was a very hard upbringing I had as a kid. Because you had to be tough and ruthless and horrible. You was a striker at first, weren't you? I was a winger slash striker. Was <laughs> 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 <Really? laughs> <laughs> I was a goal scoring, goal scoring I mean, sensation. Just the size of your shoulders, I think you'd start edging into the centre of the well, park. I, just, you? I, did. No, I was, I was all my life. I was a <laughs> left winger and just like Teddy. I just used to cross it with a Teddy sharing edge. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like Beckham. No, I didn't have pace. Because Paul said you've got a bit of a wand on you. You can do a cross field ball if you need I've it. I've got. A, well, as Ian Wright called it, it is a tin opener. <laughs> my left foot can open tin of beans and eat it up in three and a half minutes <laughs> without fire. So I could, I could pick people out, and so I was yeah. like a bit of a Beckhamish. Bit of a wand. Oh, and then I went apprentice sixteen. George Graham. Within an hour and a half, went East Centre half him. <laughs> <laughs> and you played, you played against him a few times. And I was saying, oh, you same gender with Centre. I was England youth together and travelled the world. Yeah, really. Have you ever oh. must have some stories about travelling no. the world with Paul Mercer? No, no, no. no. I remember one day we was in. <laughs> Rio de Janeiro, yeah, and the old famous one. We we met the Lord Mayor's wife of Rio de. She was a salt. <laughs> <laughs> and she had this funny accent. And this funny accent. And what? he said, "Where are you from?" She <laughs> said, "So and so." He said, "Mercy, the old fire. Have you got any cock in there?" She went, "No." He said, "Do you want some?" <laughs> <laughs> sixteen, seventeen. You know oh, you was only sixteen saying that. Eight, not even you seem seventeen. Oh, you two. You got an absolute nightmare. We were the quiet ones. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Hall was on that well, too. Oh, Neil Brian Hall. Brian Hall. Brian Hall. Sorry. Batty. Brian Hall yeah. oh. David Batty. David Batty. Loads of people like that. Lucky people. And what was he like to play against? What was Paul like to play against? Neil? I don't really get close, didn't get close enough to him, to be fair. <laughs> really? No, I wouldn't no. go close enough to him. <laughs> no, he was very good. He was very good. He was one of them that used to jump off in the aisle and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Scaredy cats. <laughs> He was a chip no, goal kicker. You called, him a ki- you called him a kicker. Oh, yeah. He's a kicker. I'd love to kick. Listen, all right. <laughs> one kick, There's one thing better. I wouldn't kick him because I'm not a bully. One thing better than beating your mates is fucking hurting them. <laughs> <laughs> I love hurting my friends, and that's in every spot. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking games. Just have hurting your friends. Podcasts. We done, <laughs> we, we done, we, we done a dinner in Swindon about seven, eight years ago, right? And I got there, and it was like people outside having a fag. And I went, all right, Neil. And he went, all right, Merce. And he grabbed me. And honestly, I thought I was going to pass out. I was like, you have to let <laughs> go now. Your neck. Let go now. Let go now. And he was going, he was squeezing me tighter and tighter and tighter. I've seen him for a while. <laughs> Seriously, I thought, honestly, I was going blue. <laughs> what was going um, when you played at Millwall, was Terry Erlock a bit of an influence on you? Terry, he was Terry, a Terry, huge was, Terry was a better player than people thought. Yeah. Terry used to yeah. smash me. He had a lovely little dinker, Terry. He had a lovely little dinky <laughs> thing. But he was. He was um, you know, everyone looked up to him and he used to run through brick walls and, you know, he was everyone's favourite off the pitch. Yeah, yeah. So he was one of them that... Was there rolled. a drinking culture at Millwall? <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no. Tuesdays, wasn't it? Their Tuesday club was the yeah. best Tuesday club. Was that the best Everyone one? tried to... Everyone, once they found out Arsenal's Tuesday, everyone used to try and be Tuesday club but failed miserably because really? they, they couldn't last... Um, <laughs> 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 it's coming out like flies. You have to have another Tuesday. No Tuesday club means every Tuesday. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> so do you think playing at Millwall those sort of shaped you? Well, I was 15. I was um, I was still at school and there was reserve teams then. And my first reserve game for Millwall played against Wild Lane and I played against Garth Crooks and Steve Archibald. So, I mean, we got beat about 5 not. We didn't give a kick. You know what I mean? Played on Wild Lane against them. So, when I was sort of 17, I played like 50 odd games. Reserve football was playing, yeah. so your boy playing against men. So at 70, I was ready. I was looking at the under 18s, they come second, or did they win the they won the trophy? Didn't they? It was 20, the 20s won, one of the 18s, it was one of yeah, the, I, I don't know, what, it was recently, yeah. It? The 18s won or come second, and the 20s. But with when we were kids, me and Mer, if you was in the in the England 18 team, you were playing with your first team, yeah, or the 19s or 20s, yeah, you was yeah, playing yeah. for your first team. If you oh, was in yeah. the England team, you was playing in your first team, don't matter what level, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the difference. It's not like that now, is it? They're... You was a man because reserve football used to make him yeah. into a man. If you was under twenty ones, is weird now, isn't it? Yeah, under twenty ones, under twenty ones. If you was the under twenty one teams, you'd played sixty games in the first team. The thing is, you're playing against your own age all the time, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I, I played against Billy Bonds. <laughs> I mean, I was playing. I was a young kid coming yeah. through, played against Billy Bonds at West Ham. Yeah. He marked me out the game. I'm like, yeah. you go back and you go, oh my god, I've got to get better. Yeah, you know what I mean. But when you're playing against other like nineteen year olds, yeah, you're playing against them since you was twelve. 
Yeah. Oh, really? Them kids. Them well, kids, you are, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah they all come play, through the same... You play reserve football, you play against, they say Billy Barnes and people yeah. like that. And how comes you left Mill Wall? It's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you, Mill. <laughs> no, Spurs coming for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, I've been there about two years and um, Spurs coming for me. And um, was it's it George country. Graham sorted out a decent transfer for you? He, he was, he was, George was my first agent. So I was, I think, I was under £25 a week at, at Millwall. Fuck, you know that was. You go from 25 quid to £100. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was a king of the estate. <laughs> so when my dad was in, uh, we didn't have agents then when I was a kid, and my dad was working in Saudi Arabia, so George said, I'll take you over there. So I went to see Peter Shreves and Sean Declare outside Spurs on the side. Put a bit of fillet steak, never had steak in my life. <laughs> didn't know what it was. Is it too real? I not what he was talking about. I don't know. And he got me £400 a week and offered me, offered me 200, double wages, £250. And Jules Graham went, no, come on. We come all this way, take the piss. I'm like, you know what the time. <laughs> <laughs> He went, come on, so he put, walked outside and he went, winked at me. I thought, oh, what's happening? I don't go back to my wall now. Then he went, no, come back in. And then I'll get £400 a week and a brand new XR2. Oh. oh. And I couldn't drive. <laughs> a white one with red ghost fast stripes on it. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> you must have been so it cocky had, when you signed that deal. the tape deck in it, right, that you fast forward and it stopped at the next song. Oh, that was a different oh. level. I'm going to sit back in a minute and talk to Merce. Oh, <laughs> He's just going to remember, just gonna remember, that, remember that. Remember that moment. Fuck what did you me. have, Big Country? I had Andrew Gold. <laughs> I love her because she is good to me. And it would really make me happy to never let to slip away. Oh. That was a song. <laughs> it's a minute, I'm crying. Oh my god! So much. What was your first, What was your first big contract, verse? Was oh. Awesome. What was I, when, when I won the league in '89? But when you first felt yeah. like you big dog. Well, I was three hundred pound a week. Yeah, and I was getting two hundred and twenty-five pound if we won the game. And I played in it. So I was getting nearly double more. Yeah. So, you know, when we scored, you know oh. what I mean? I was always the first to run over you to whoever scored. Yeah. Really it was on a you and and love by it. You look at happy back in the day of win, but our people used to oh, come out the win bonus. The appearance of win, win bonus. bonus. Oh. <laughs> I went to Liverpool. I think it was on stupid. I come it was £1,500 a week when I was Spurs. When the second time I went to Spurs. I went to Liverpool, win bonus. I thought, fuck me, they win loads of money, yeah. He messaged Wimber, £25 a point. Liverpool, <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool £25 a point. Where, was he still two points a win then as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've got £1,500, but Liverpool say, why should we pay you more money to win? You should want to win. You go, oh, yeah, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was he at Tottenham? What was I was, was £1,500. Not the first time, second time I went to like... To Tottenham. So you went back 90s. to Tottenham after Liverpool? I went Liverpool. to Southampton for four years, didn't I? So what were you I went Tottenham, from... Tottenham, Southampton for four years, back to Tottenham for a year, lost the semi final, yeah. then I went to Liverpool four years. Oh, really? So what, how come you went to Southampton? Because um, 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 he came in, Venables came in, I was going to buy Terry Butcher and all them people, and he, he tried to fuck me off to Portsmouth, who his mate was Mick uh, Gregory, the old chairman, Jim Gregory, was it? Jim Gregory. Venice mate, so he was trying to get all the young boys here. So I went to Southampton, he brought me back. Did you not get on with Venables? Yeah, but he was just, you know, I was young, so I wouldn't go. I was only playing. All oh, right, now and again. You sub every week and play every so now and then. who played for Southampton when them. you went there? Oh, Tizzy, the Wallace brothers, Shearer, oh, Tim really? Flowers. Oh, wow. wow. What was that like? Oh, man, Jimmy Case, Glenn Cockrell. Oh, yeah. brilliant. That's why I made me. up on the last yeah. day of the season. Mm-hmm. Stay up, man. What were the Tizzy and Shearer? Tizzy and Shearer were them boys, weren't they? There was, you know, we had Rodney Wallace, Tizzy and Shearer, all up front, like young boys. Then we had, like, Jimmy Case. Glenn Cockrum, Danny Wallace, Graham. Is Shearer hard? Oh, you had a good team, didn't Shearer, you? yeah, Shearer was a tough boy, yeah. yeah. And we had She's quite me, serious. Russell Osman, at the back. Oh, yeah. Who was the hardest player? Was that when he weren't in? Jimmy Case victory. is the hardest man ever to walk to the he planet. He said Billy Whitehurst. Billy, yeah. Billy was scared. Billy was... I don't play against Billy was... He ripped my shirt out once with like a cardigan with no buttons because <laughs> I won an header against him. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, Jimmy Case. Jimmy Case, horrible. Right, I'm going to see if he looks harder than. No, he won't look harder. He don't look hard. He's a no. wiry, oh, five he's foot a, nine. He's a silent. He looks friendly now. He's yeah, a silent oh, the silent. Oh, little Jimmy Case. The yeah. silent assassin, yeah, mate. Silent I assassin. see him two foot Graham Sharp in the chin once. <laughs> 
swear to God. They both went in for a tackle on their arse, and Jimmy just jumped over his feet. And both his feet went up his body, went bang under oh. it. Then. It did. It looks quite. He had hard, two holes. Yeah, two, two holes in his chin. Two holes in his chin, and they went, looked at him, went, oh. The Jimmy Case went. So and he wore an earring aid. Jim, don't say what. Right, he wore an earring aid. Yeah. And the referee had blown a whistle. Jimmy had carried on a two foot. Some. <laughs> oh. It's okay, you can say no, that. Can some person. <laughs> some person. <laughs> he two footed some person, right? <laughs> Sorry. Right. I know it's not clever. It's <laughs> let's see. So. Listen, where was I? So two footed him. Yeah. What was I saying? Earing aid. Earing aid. I was earing aid. So the fella, <laughs> listen, the fella would stop so Jimmy and just fucking carry on it, absolutely clattering. The referee's Jim, Jim, and he'd get his earing aid out, his jock strap. And go like, sorry, ref didn't hear him go, oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs> sorry, Jim, didn't realise. He forgot to put his ear in aid. But he should carry it on his jockey. He's having his jock strap he's just for that. Jock, so just for his reason, he could yeah. snap people. Didn't it, no. Southampton, you get stripped. It says he got stripped at the end of the season by fans, like tearing bits of kit off yet. Yeah, I scored a, we, we stayed at last game of the season. I scored a penalty in the last minute to put, save us and put Newcastle down. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Newcastle, about what year? Oh, we don't have it. Mister. We don't have it. Mr. Fucking Soccer Saturday, all right? <laughs> That's kicking off. Newcastle, 1989. Rodney Wallace got brought down by the by the Newcastle left back. Who was that Newcastle left back? Harrison. No. <laughs> Warren Barton. Oh no. 1989. Oh, legend. You must have played with him. You would have played with him. Not Pierce. Oh no, legend. You'd have played with him. <laughs> oh, you'd yeah, have played with him. Oh no, you'd have better than him. Well, no, nearly as good as him. What's Come it? on. What nationality? English. International. Is that Kenny Sampson? Back? Yes! Smashed it. What, at Newcastle? Yes. Did he? Kenny Sampson. I did not What a question. Good, well done, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, I'm really proud of myself. Good, isn't it? Well, why did you bring that up? Because I scored the winner. Oh, right. Oh, cause I How know, that comes that you needed a last minute goal on the last day of the season to stay up with good. that team? Because we went 25 games. I signed and we went 25 games without a win. <laughs> <laughs> um, then the bonus could have been 10 grand a game. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I've got here Barry Orn, Ed Butted a Lamp. Is it was Barry Orn at Southampton? Oh, man. We Where did you know this? It's brilliant. We, we, um, that, this is Barry, we was, the Barry Orn story. <laughs> Barry Orn. <laughs> well, so that's, we've... Who did he? Was it at Southampton? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we was like, like so try and head things in the street, you know, like bar, you know, you can head that. Yeah. So he's come in my room and I've got this lamp and he couldn't get it. It was ice. I, you know, when I pulled down lamps, I pulled it down yeah. really low. So I let him go and he's gone nutted it. It was only fucking cast iron. <laughs> it moved. It went. He had really had it went. <laughs> about that far. He went bang. <laughs> like, fucking split his nut. I'm like wow. <laughs> I should have told him, but then again. <laughs> As I said, when you're playing games, nothing like better and hurting your yeah. friends. It could have been worse, you could have been shitting in his pillar. Shitting under Pointing his pillar. Pointing no pillar. No. Fingers <laughs> yeah, have, you, have you ever shit in someone's um, pillow case? No. Ah. See, I'd, I'd, on paper, I'd have you down as a pillow shit. I don't than do smell. You don't do smell. Well, not even my own. You don't like smelly things? No. Bogies and smell, no. Bogies and... You don't like bogies? No, I hate bogies. <laughs> This, this is, is Neil Ruddock talking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate bogeys? Just don't know, it's a <laughs> you know, you know, it? You're all getting all funny. Uh, oh, imagine if you're physically sick now. <laughs> Did Shearer nearly end your career? No, he ended his. Oh, he ne- oh, right, what happened? Oh, yeah, he was pissed one day. He was in um, Val de Lobo, Portugal. Because he was only, he, he was like young and pussy. He was, uh, everyone... <laughs> They closed the bar, said one's bar, or the other mini bars had been eaten, uh, sorry, drunk crying. <laughs> you having a break got Mars bars, yeah. got Mars bars in there as well. So I went downstairs, got his Over spare range. key for his room, run in his room, picked his mini bar, just ripped it out of the wall. So I was running down the thing, and there was glasses on top, and they was folding off. So it's falling off, and he started running him after me. I went, no, no, and he went, whoosh, whoosh, all through oh. this broken glass. And he trod on the, the other spiky bit. What, bare, one. bare feet, oh, isn't it? Barefoot. Barefoot. And all his toes were just hanging off by Fred. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. He was only about 17. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> He's done all right. He, he oh, imagine good, how many yeah. he would have scored a bit more good, time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you made him yeah, good. Yeah, so that's how someone sewed his toes back on. <laughs> that's why he could probably hit the board. Do you know the best one about Tomo? You know Tomo's missing a toe, isn't he? No. Your Tom- mate Tomo. Is he? He's missing a toe. Tomo, who's Tomo? Phil Thompson. Phil Thompson. Oh, Phil Thompson. And uh, they was having an argument. Him and, they put it on his nose. Him and Don Hutchinson. <laughs> right? Him and Don Hutchinson were having an argument once. So, 
Someone said something to him. Someone said something to him. Someone's got the match. Yeah. Uh, someone said to him, yeah, put your medals on the table. And Don Hutchinson went, yeah, put your toes on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got a time this year? Yeah, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Live, on, on air. Yeah, got um, him up. And uh, John Burridge. Budgie Burridge, goalkeeper. Yeah. Yes. He used, he used to, to get, comment, commentate on the games. He used to commentate to himself. And there he goes in midfield, and number four for so and so. Shot! And he'll, say, he'll go, side corner. More than that. Yeah, what are you saving it? He goes, shot, side corner. <laughs> shot, oh, the goalkeeper knew that was going. Well played, Burridge. <laughs> England's number one again. The lads having a storming game. He used to do that. <laughs> he called That's me my name once, right? He, and he didn't tell me he called me it. And he forgot. So I kept, <laughs> he's going, uh, so and so, edit. So I fucking left one. I said, who's that? He said, that's you. I said, you've never called me that before. He said, oh, I didn't tell you. That's your new name. So I was fucking letting things go. <laughs> oh, because he was... He, wasn't he changed his it. name in, the, in his game, in his, in his fucking commentary he was doing it. I weren't me. <laughs> I was someone else. He's... Must be a better player or someone. I don't if know. If someone did that now, else. they'd like... They'd take him a But he'll go like, oh, no, go to La Tizia, and he'll go back to fucking Bonzo, and I'd, I'd have the ball. What the fuck? would it be me? <laughs> Bonzo. <laughs> Bonzo. He'd come with someone else. Schuster was in, and then he'd become Schuster. Bernard Schuster. Bernard, Bernard that was it, Bernard. Bernard. To Bernard. But what, make, why not just use the names? Was. But you didn't fucking tell me. And they go back to Russell Osborne, and they goes into Shearer's feet, Shearer and plays. Oh, they're in the place. Oh, great save, but England's number one barrage. Burridge rolls the ball out to Bernard. <laughs> to me. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, but you were telling the story about Paul Merson nearly got you in trouble in a bar. We was out one, we'd done it, I think it was a... Uh, we was in London, river. wasn't it? We'd done a luncheon thing. So we come on, let's yeah. go have a beer. So we end up with a beer and we end up in Oxford Street in a, with, a, with loads of um, lads, big black lads, really. Yeah, it's like a black club. Black club, yeah. you know, with all the... Their music, you know, a lot. Yeah, it's black music. He likes his music, you know. You're you into that sort of... Loves that. There was a oh, snooker. Yeah. They, was all, they was all sitting on the pool table. He went, oi, get off, I want to play. Paul said that? Yeah, I'm like, uh-oh. So you're only two white blokes in there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please, don't can we go? Yeah, no, I want to play pool against this mob, but I beat them one-handed. How much do you want, boys? Come, I beat you one-handed. <laughs> yeah, you I can play pool. I can play pool. Oh, 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 my. Is he good at pool? God. Yeah, he's very good. Especially one-handed. <laughs> So one I'm, I am shitting myself for hours. He just kept beating them. They beating were good them. lads, weren't they? And in the end, there was friends. They were brilliant. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they were brilliant. They were brilliant in the end. But, they were good. But, but he was panicking because they would have beat him up, not they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, <laughs> they wouldn't have hit him. So they were brilliant. They just bashed me up. Yeah. <laughs> the big one. Yeah. The big bear. They were good lads. That was the last <laughs> time we had him. Yeah. Ever. Really? Yeah. He only went out once. No, never again. <laughs> never, <laughs> never, ever again. <laughs> never been out for a drink since. Nope. No, no. So no stories about that's going out gra- I think That's why I grabbed you in Swindon and then you broke your neck. Yeah, they didn't see you. I bought her that yeah. night. Like, <laughs> it all come flooding back to me. <laughs> um, when you uh, went back to Tottenham, you had like quite a roll call of players: and Barnby, Mabba, Vinnie Samway, Steve Sedgley. <laughs> was that what was it like playing with them? Teddy Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham as well. Gordon Jury. Gordon Jury. Who's Eric the Viking? Goalkeeper. How old are you? You've been in the fucking. You've been in a submarine your life. <laughs> Eric the Viking. Yeah, no, quite a long time. How old are you? <laughs> that Twenty-nine. Time, yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Gaul. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think time. I remember you not liking Northerners. Oh. You've met him before. I've met him before. Well, you can't say. That. He just said I don't like Northerners. <laughs> well, he can't. Really, I can't. He can't say that. Is that slanderous? <laughs> You don't, do you like Northerners? I love them. You look at Liverpool, didn't you? I love Northerners. Oh, mean yeah, yeah, like of course. He, he used to go up north to do his... I do um, his... Yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, that's In what fact, I... the further you go north, the better they are. You fucking... <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> the World Cup, man. But I'm Northern, so you got to like me. I know you're me. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot, he hates Northerners. <laughs> You were up in Sheffield the other week, weren't I you? I was in Sheffield, <laughs> for the BBC. <laughs> what result that was? Was, it for, the, was it for the BBC? No. Blades Business Crew. <laughs> <laughs> me like agent a went, group, got a lovely it? job for you, me agent. A few bob in it, not that much. Went for the BBC. <laughs> not that much, if anyone's listening. Something BBC. Oh, and they're not going to like my language when I go and stay at the British Broadcasting Company. They're not going to be... I won't be getting a, a contract on the BBC. Well, it's a British Blades business crew. <laughs> One of them had his book out. It was his book launch. Like Stephen, hooli- was he a hooligan type? Yes, yeah, Steve. <laughs> he's becoming mate now, Steve so-and-so. His book, it was his book launch. 
And they're all like, yeah, fuck you. Mill, oh, yeah, whip your fucking heads up. And things like that. <laughs> so you had to do so your I was speech. Like, I, was trying to, I was trying to sack it and get Merce to do it for me. But... <laughs> 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 what, what, when you do your, your circuit stuff, what's the, your best story or routine? Are you like, can, you tell, can you tell the Sean Connery one or not? That is the funniest story. I can't, story. he's not paying me enough. I've got to get paid. Oh, well, it's no, you don't have to, but oh, all yeah, I say yeah. is people... I met Sean Connery once, met Sean Connery once. I met Sean Connery once, and so... <laughs> so we were right, we're there on the Stellas, so... <laughs> Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, so we're on the Casey Callas, so get a bit... <laughs> you know, you get a bit, so all of a sudden, writings come up. Fucking hell, he said, I can't believe he's just walked in. So we looked down a big bar at Wentworth Golf Club, and it was uh, Sean Connery, Bruce Forsyth, and fucking Tarbuck walked in, so... <laughs> it was James Bond, but fuck me, it's James Bond. So, as they get near the bar, you're right, went to the bar, and see the grey head mush? Get in vodka martini, shake, you're not stirred, right? So we're fucking oh, pissing oh, out. Oh, God, I've heard that. So they've got the ump, because you ain't heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> and another one, so we go down, I went to say sorry, because they got the ump. As a break, I just shake Bruce Forsyth's hand, God bless him. Ian right away. Did you have a good game, Bruce? Did you have a good game? <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. you're apologising. He's upset him. <laughs> So it goes on and on and on and on. Well, it's all of a sudden they go. It's a long swim, but cut it short. So they go. So, because when I used to have the mouthful of Stella, I don't drink anymore after this night. I used to think I was like seven foot nine. You don't drink anymore? No, Stella. Oh, Stella, OK. <laughs> she turned me. <laughs> I used to think I was seven foot nine, see-through, drunken, Apache warrior. Like, <laughs> fucking hard, that is. <laughs> so, really fucking hard. Bruce full of tar butt go. Good game, Bruce. No, Ian. Leave the man. The man's old. He's there, Sean Connery. I'm thinking, I'm looking at him thinking, he is handsome. I'd fuck him, right? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I would actually go bed with him. And young man from Hull, if I did fuck him, right? Saturday afternoon, I'd go and watch Millwall. And I'd go in the hardest pub in South London. I'd walk in and go, all right, son. i go, all right, boys. What you been up to? Raise up. I'd go, I'll fuck James Bond, right? <laughs> Now, I know the hardest men in London that go, good boy, good boy, fuck James. Well, do you ruin him? Yes, I ruined him. Good boy. I know they'd say that, right? So, I'm having gay thoughts with him. And then, Ian Wright comes and whacks me, hits me. He goes, I go, what? He goes, go and knock him out. I went, who? He went, James Bond. What? I went, why? He's mugging you off. I said, no, he's not mugging me off. He's mugging you off. You're being serious. How's he mugging me off? What, gay falls to James Bond? He, yeah. want, he wants you to knock him out? Yeah, right, he went, knock it, he went why is he mugging you off? I mean, no, why? Before he came in, everyone wanted your photo, huh? on your autograph, he's making it look like a twat. Knock him out. So at the end, piss off. I'll knock you out in a minute. Puss, don't call me pussy. Another fucking 16 Stellas, love. Come on, I've got the whip. So, that was 16. It's me again, right? He knock him out, low right, piss off, knock you out. Another ten minutes, you know, like, and I've gone like that. I've had the mouthful, and I? I've turned, bang. Is he mugging me off? <laughs> right, he's going, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All the other lads go, no, 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 no. He goes, yes, yes, no, yeah, knock him out, knock him out. So, I don't know, I didn't, oh, I'll go goosey down, because I didn't, I've just mugged myself off, really, because I didn't knock him out, I went down to him, I went, oh, it's shown! And he sort of went, yes. He <laughs> weren't as good as that, to be fair, him, but <laughs> he went, yes. And I went, Bet you fuck some famous birds, wouldn't you? <laughs> Anyone we should know about before I knock you out? Oh. He got the ump. I can't believe it. <laughs> so now I'm like sober again. Oh, fuck. So he's getting angry with you. He's quite, like, he's quite hard though, isn't he? Sure. So fucking James Bond! <laughs> <laughs> so he's come, he's come walking towards me and he, I'm thinking, oh no, please don't come too close. Because <laughs> I'll have to knock you out because I've said it in front of my friends. <laughs> right, so... He sort of stopped to give you a 10 second death stare and he walked out. I'm like, oh my God. What have I done? And all the lads are going, what you done? He knows Harry Redknapp. I think, oh fuck. <laughs> he knows Harry and Ian Wright said, chase him outside, kick the fuck out of him in the car park. <laughs> I'm like, I'm oh, yeah, right, he's him. fucking on, man. So really, he's fucking mad. <laughs> so he left it about two minutes later and Sean Connery come back in. He turned around, he went, he's come back in. He's come back in. And I turned around, and Sean Connery was face to face with me. He went, Razor. I went, what? Well, you're going to have to come and watch me live on yes. stage to get the answer, oh. ain't you? Book Crazy Rudder. And it's good to it, it definitely worth. Very well crafted, I'd say, from a comedian's point of view as well. Yes, mm. yes. Very well put together. Thank you very much. Did you do that? No? Oh, that? that was Sean Howard. What's his name? Russell. Russell, Russell Howard. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Howard. <laughs>
Um, how, was, uh, how was Liverpool as well? You got any stories from you, Liverpool? Yeah, no, oh, I don't you're going to have to come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was Eric Hall your agent? Pardon? Eric Hall your agent? Eric Hall my monster. agent, Eric Hall, yes. Eric monster, 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 yeah. He makes a, he makes a rich, what is it? Makes the poor players rich and the rich players richer. <laughs> is that his real slogan? That's his slogan, monster, monster. You ain't got clue <laughs> so at all, still there right? now? Yeah, we had him on the podcast. No. He's, a stra- no. stra- he's not working now, but he's still... Didn't he's, you got, he's got to be 80 on now, yeah, he's Really? Is it bubble bubble up? Bubble up, bubble up. Bubble up. I mean, yeah. baby and oh, Jewish right. talk, mate. All right. I thought I dreamt that. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just Why watching. Why has he got a microphone? What the, what All he's done is came me that I ain't Northerners. <laughs> I know, that was quite funny. Excellent. He's yeah. earned his, well his fee. Um, so you were, in the squad, you had those Redknapp, McAteer, Fowler, McManaman, and Rush and Barnes. Yeah, they was all they was good drinkers. I think Nigel Clough lasted about six months because he didn't drink. Oh, really? Yeah, everyone was a good, that was a good drinking school in Liverpool. I think they've been doing it for like 70s now. Yeah. <laughs> They're massive, massive, massive drinkers. Was it, and you signed from because of Sooness? Sooness, top man. I love him. Yeah, he was, uh, I had, uh, could have gone Chelsea. Let me get this one right. Because I fall out of Alan Sugar, so I had Chelsea, I'll do Chelsea. Why'd you fall out of Sugar? Because he's, he's lovely. I could have said tank then, but you You almost look like, like a massive version of him now. With your grey beard. <laughs> you're, fucked. Of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucked. So you, you didn't get on with Sugar? No, falling out with him. Um, Why? Well, yeah, I'd signed a new, I signed a contract with shit re- money, really. And then, because uh, he said there was a, I uh, can't believe there was a question mark over my discipline. I couldn't fucking believe that. <laughs> so he said, if you prove your discipline, you get double wages at the end of the season. Third game, I'll get sent off against Palace, which didn't help. But then I improved my discipline, but then he got rid of uh, Venables, but then he wouldn't honour, because he wouldn't honour the new contract sort of thing. So he said I could go. So I ch- I'd Oddle Chelsea, Cluffy Forest, Keegan Newcastle, Kenny Blackburn, Walter Smith Rangers, and soon as Liverpool. Wow. All in here. Yeah, and I said I'd, uh, I'd sign, I'd, I'd see everyone. Read it all Monday, Tuesday, all the way through. Did you go and see them all? Went to Blackburn to meet Kenny. Tuesday went to Anfield, met Sooner. So I thought, oh, this has got to be it. He walked me out on the pitch. You know what it was like? Touched the mm-hmm. trophy room, touched the pitch, walked out Anfield. And I thought, oh, yeah, I've got to play in. Yeah. Because it was horrible playing there, just chasing it. Added that tango around for 90 <laughs> minutes. <wasn't it? laughs> so I wanted to be the one that so I just I signed for them there. I didn't see anyone else. Um, also, so you, didn't you wind up Cantona when you was playing for Liverpool? Well, I used to turn his collars down. <laughs> <laughs> he used to wear his clothes with a big Liverpool man night. It's a massive, massive like derby mm, rivalry. Yeah. So he was brilliant. He was like my size, my shoulders, my eye. He was huge. Really? So I used to think he was a bit mad, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. Just you know, the kung fu, the kung fu kick. It was great, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have loved to see him do that in Millwall or Leeds. You <laughs> never. You never seen him again, would you? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like his boot would have come back. Gold. His shirt would have come back. <laughs> you never seen Kane now again. Did you ever fight with Fowler at Liverpool? No, I just whacked him. He cut me boots up on the plane. Didn't he? Didn't he piss in his shoes? No, he, he shit me Reebok classics. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So what did you classics? do? Hit him? Yeah, did you? Thirty nine quid then. What, yeah, did you where used to do we? pranks and stuff like that? Or, or oh not? yeah. What was the, What was your best one? You reckon? Oh, like super glue keyholes and car doors. They're great. Plus oh, about four hundred quid to get a new car <laughs> keyhole. Just, you know, super glue was great when it super glue came out. <laughs> fucking thing! Super glue came out. Super glue. <laughs> <laughs> that really you could just do. changed <laughs> Frank. Proper. <laughs> <The> proper <laughs> it, oh, no, it, went, it went up a lot. It went up about three notches, mate. Why about that? Cling film and super glue. Oh, Absolutely. toilet seat super glue. Oh, you must have loved it. Metal, the one that cut metal. Once you do metal, that was it. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, you played for England when you were at Liverpool. Only at every level, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was uh, I was uh, England uh, England England beat captain. <clears throat> mm, nice. Yeah. Did you play that one? Or you played the first team? No, I one? played the other one when I was. You was in the first team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We come and watch you. <laughs> he was on the Wednesday, he went out of his boat. <laughs> uh, well, how was that? You, you must have loved playing for England. Was, oh, Paul, you were saying, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, especially with your family, that oh. makes me uh, your family happy. Uh, well, so was, um, Gaza, no, did just, you play just, with Gaza as well? No, because I saw him at Spurs, that, uh, not uh, for Lazio. And not in the England team? No, he was injured. Oh, he's injured, eh? He's done his knee, didn't he? I bet you would have got on, though, wouldn't you? 
Well, I've been out for a few. I should have realised. Oh, been out with him. I should have realised that he was, you know, had a bit of a drinking problem. We all know his problem. We want to get yeah. well, but I'm good at reading people, and I didn't really read the signs because. Of... Oh really? We were playing golf once, and it was half eight in the morning, and everyone teed off, and it was me and Gazza at the back, and he had his caliper on. So I had the buggy. I'm just about to tee off. I ain't bad at golf, and he went, "No, no, wait, wait, whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait. I've got to get sacked from the car." No. He went to the car half eight in the morning. I said, what is it? He went, don't worry about that. So he come back half eight in the morning. He had a bottle of brandy. I went, it's a bit much. It's a bit much half eight in the morning. He said, no, we ain't drinking it all the time. He said, every time one of us hit a good shot, we'll have a brandy. I went, fuck, you know, that's all right. Now. <laughs> what good idea it was. So I'm on the tee half eight. I'm just about to hit a ball and he's chucked the golf ball and it hit me right on the side of the head. So I topped this ball about 10 yards and I heard, good fucking shot, Razor. <laughs> <laughs> So I should have known early doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you mentioned Ian Wright um, before, but yeah. weren't you quite big rivals? I hated him. You, you had, before you, like... I hated him with a passion. He used to scratch my neck, right? He used to play against him. So at the Palace before Arsenal. Yeah. Him and Bright. Ian Wright would scratch your neck. You know it's sweating and that. It's stinging. So yeah. I'd really tell you, referee, man, referee, look, man, man, lunatic, man, referee, man, lunatic, and all that. And he'd say, like... Sorry, big fella, he says, but your missus, she do make lovely breakfast. And things like that. That's very annoying, just getting me in. <laughs> so I'll go to Tottenham, he's at Arsenal, so we've got to hate him even more now, haven't I? And he used to fucking, used to fucking hate him. And then... <laughs> I go to Liverpool, we get in the England squad together, and then uh, Venables doing the t- uh, rooms, he went, right, room number one, Ruddock and Wright. Everyone went, woo! I've <laughs> 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 oh, gone, ah, oh, like, so I never spoke, I hated him. Oh, really? I just wanted to kick him and hurt him, so... <laughs> I thought, for, oh God, so I left it five minutes, thought, oh, come on, let's go. You know. So I walk in the room and he's, the door's open and he's, he's got nothing on. And he's bouncing on the bed. He went, come on in, you fat fucker. Let's have it, let's have it. And he bounced, so I just rugby tackled him and I love him now. Since <laughs> 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 I cuddled him with no, nothing on. So was he being serious? Was he one, being... mate? He just wanted you to have a scrap. He was there going, come on in, muck like, about it. Oh, messing about. Yeah, like, nothing on, yeah. bouncing a bit. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Yeah. So I just rugby tackled him, that was it. And then friends. you got on in the end. Yeah, I like him now. You do like righty Paul? Yeah, good lad. He's Great very nice. Like, an hour at a Great time. Lad. <laughs> he can get, but uh, can get annoying. Kind of. He is lively. We know when you. He's know, always like, late. Up isn't tired. He? He's always late. He's annoying sometimes. When you, you know, what I mean, when he's tired, you're not allowed to speak to him. Yeah, yeah. he's one of them. But if you're tired, he he won't leave you alone. <laughs> Perfect roommate. Perfect roommate. <laughs> 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 well, because you played with him as well for Liverpool. Um, at West, so, Ham. Matt, West Ham. Sorry, yeah, went West Ham. Yeah. No, and, I like right. How come you left Liverpool for West Ham? What was it? It was coming to uh, three years. I had three years left, but it was coming to. I wasn't getting a game, and it was like me. It was my, my kids were sort of coming to like nine or ten, and if I stayed another three years, I'd have to stay in the area for the kids scoring. All oh, right. So I'd end up playing with Tranmere. Well, oh, okay, you go back to London. So I was, West Ham came up. Jimmy Bullard was there when yeah, you were there. Yeah, when West West Ham was. Do you remember him when he yeah, was yeah, younger? Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, of course I do. We uh, West Ham was funniest. Two years. I've named this team, right? You won't believe this team. But the team they got now is struggling, right? Yeah. We had Tracker in goal. Left back, we had Julian Dick, Stuart Pierce, or Nigel Winterburn. <laughs> Centre halves, we had me, Ian Pierce. Rio, was Rio there? Rio Ferdinand. Geezer used to play with Derby, Captain of Derby. Slab, slab, slab. Uh, Billich, he's B- the manager now. No, not Billich. Oh, no, Simic. Slimak, 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 yeah. him. Yeah. Well, him, but he was like Croatia. Slimak, 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 Ian Wright, John Artson, Kitson, Pablo Wanchop, Parlo, Parlo Wanchop, Freddie Canute. That's too many. <laughs> too many players. Yeah. Fucking team that was. Squad yeah. that is. Wasn't it? Yeah. Fifth twice we come. Can you imagine they had that now? Did They've you? got Andy Carroll. Hey, well, that was the fifth. squad. Fifth twice we come in that team. That was an incredible wow. team. What, um, was it, team. What was the Canio like? Strange. <laughs> yeah, he seems to. He shave his body, everything. <laughs> his balls as well. His balls and bummo and... Shave how'd you, get, how'd you shave your bum or how'd you get there? Beat. I ain't heard of beat. <laughs> yeah, but he does what he'd apply it himself then. Apl- no, no, we'd get Harry Red that to do it. <laughs> 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 there we go. Oh, Bernie's hand, come here. 
How did Harry Redknapp... <laughs> From his car window. <laughs> How did Harry Redknapp control all you lot? No chance. <laughs> Absolutely not. Who was the leader and of that group then? This how mad it was. This how, this how mad they were. I, I, Harry put me in charge. So you'd be trying to... He'd give me the whip, and that's what happened at Wentworth. I was in charge. Oh, so that was... A, so all those players... Because we had Ferdinand used to go out with Kirsty Gallagher, and her dad's Bernard Gallagher oh. at Wentworth. So he was a professional at Wentworth, so we used to get Wentworth for nothing. Oh, really? When Rio fucked Kirsty Gallagher off, we was more gutted than she was. <laughs> 250 quid over there. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Was it Burridge? That I, no, he... Come on, I'm trying to like that. That's good. That's good. What, what, what's what, what went on with you? <laughs> what's he doing? I don't know. What was that thing? That story? Southampton. At Southampton, Burridge got electrocuted. What, what did he do in chin-ups or something? He put... <laughs> yeah. With a metal bar. You know what he done, right? Because we had no gymnasiums and all this. And so yeah. he, he got this metal bar. So he put it in the corner of the room. Yeah. So he went, bang, 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 sits, sits down there. Bang, sits, sits down there. Jumped up. What's this, lads? It was really, I jumped up to it. He'd only put it for a fucking electric cable. <laughs> And then we stuck. We were all laughing. Hey! Brilliant. All suddenly started smoking. Back to grab him. He nearly killed himself. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Another time, someone nearly killed himself. It was even better. I was in charge. Finish with this. I was in Charlie Chaz, me, Gazza, Paul Stewart, and Paul St- um, Steve. I've good with names. Me. <laughs> Let me start again. Another time, was good. Someone nearly killed himself. With me, Paul Stewart, Paul Gascoigne, Steve Sedge and Moi, and Charlie Chan's toilets. Charlie Chan. Night clown, Wolverstone dogs. Wolverstone dogs. <laughs> Good so time. we got for a piss. Steve said you used to eat everything. So having a piss, what, piss in the urinal. Do you know the big blue? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, the cakes. The blue the, thing the, urinal cake. Oh, no, urinal yeah. thing, you know, yeah, bleach, oh, yeah. big blue one like that. Gaz went, said eat that 100 quid. Picked out the piss. He ate it. Oh. Gaz would give him 100 pounds. He ate that as well. Ate the 100 pounds? <laughs> yeah, he ate that as well. <laughs> We go training next next morning. Steve said he's in intensive care. <laughs> so it's like drinking a pint of bleach. Yeah. So we were all laughing. His teeth were blue. Everything was blue. Eyeball, everything got blue from this bleach. Oh, when he got pissing blue, shitting blue, nearly killed him. Fucking what a way to go out of the window. <laughs> it's better than electric It's a clean yourself, death, though, isn't it? Well, it's a clean yeah. death. not smoking. That. Inside's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> It's Wouldn't bleaching. have any work to do at the funeral, I would then. Fucking this one's clean as whistle. Ellie, do you smell nice round here? <laughs> Cleanest pipes he's ever had. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Razor, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming so back. So that's me speech done, though. You're getting all my work now. No one's going to book me. Just nah, put this podcast on. No, you won't. You don't worry about it. People don't want to see it live. I've got another hour, hour, hour and a half of that shit. Got another hour and a half of it. Right, well, come back. or see you on see you on the last one. Book Neil Rudden. What's your agency? Oh, if anyone wants to book you, or Paul Marston. Um, 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 at soccerspeaker.co.uk. It's called Soccer Speaker. Tony Clark at Soccer Tony Speaker. Tony Clark at Soccer Speaker. So Soccer if you want Neil or Paul to come to uh, speak at your Raise club. money for your clubs. That's what we do. Yeah. Get in contact. Do we? And you got books as well. I got a book. I got sure a book about 1989. Well, 1989. Why don't you redo it write another book? Because I'm, I'm waiting for my mate's wives to die. Then I can tell all the stories. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your book out, Paul. <laughs> Mine was out ages ago. Um, no, right, it's well, sold out now. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I've got to pulp a few. No, um, it is. <laughs> right, well, thanks very much, Neil. No thanks, problem, Paul. Brilliant. Um, Cheers, Russell. And thanks for listening. <laughs> Cheers, yeah, Russell. No, um, I've been Russell Howard. <laughs> That's someone else. I'm here with uh, Letizia and Tony Adams. <laughs> right, see you later. <laughs> you want to book Letizia? Yeah. <laughs> The Magic Sponge is a dot, dot, dot production for Dave, hosted by Rob Beckett, Jimmy Billard and Ian Smith.